Lights are on here at Legendary Mitch Stadium. The sun trying to peek through a mostly overcast evening. The wind blowing out to straightaway center field as we are almost set for play. In his warm-ups, Blake Jackson threw a couple back to the screen. Maybe nerves a little bit early on? Well, I, it very well could be. Uh, as you mentioned, during his warm-up, he threw a couple up against it, and uh, he has against his first hitter. Payoff pitch is high, ball four, and Brandon Johnson draws a leadoff walk for Tennessee here in the top half of the first inning. Just calm him down a little bit and get his arm in the right slot. Here's a 2-1, swung on and missed. It kicks away from Sato. Johnson goes into second, and Broughton will have to come down from first base to retrieve the wild pitch. Sheffield, four hits and six at-bats. The other two at-bats were both strikeouts. Here's the 2-2. It is called strike three on the outer edge, and there's one away. Sheffield didn't like it, but his opinion, not of importance, and there's one away. Grayson Grow will hit for Tennessee, right-handed hitter in the box, hitting 444 in the tournament, had three hits yesterday. First pitch taking, low and in, gets away from Sato. He couldn't find it. Now Johnson will scamper down to third as the ball kicked all the way back into the right-handed batter's box. The 1-0 from Jackson, swung on, chopped to third. Smith will look the runner back, throw across in time. There are two away. And Jones will strike out swing to end the top half of the first inning. Tullahoma, Tennessee with no runs, no hits, no errors. One runner left on. As Jones chased a breaking ball out of the zone, he strikes out swing, and there's one away. That brings up Blake Jackson. He leads the tournament in home runs. He's hit three, four RBI, two doubles in the tournament, hitting 545. First pitch swing, grounded to third, fair ball. Darden throws across in time, and there are two away. And good turnout for both teams, and also a big local turnout. Line drive to first right in the glove of Scott Jones, and that will retire the side. Warner Robins, Georgia goes one, two, three in the bottom half of the first inning. We're through one complete at legendary Mitch Stadium. Georgia and Tennessee are scoreless. Tennessee will have hitters 5, 6, and 7 coming up. Cole Potter, James Darty, and Doran Noble. I know. So if he throws a pitch plate were to Cole Potter, that means if Warner Robins, Georgia, were to win this game, Blake Jackson could not throw against Chantilly, Virginia in the championship game. Of course, if Warner Robins, Georgia doesn't win, then it really doesn't matter. As Potter swings and misses at the fastball at the letters, there's one away. The family party deck down the right field line looks pretty full, too. The 1 2 called strike three. Jackson freezes Darty, and there are two away. If you saw the ESPN piece that they had on this, it was great how these two gentlemen sit in the stands behind home plate. And if the umpire calls strike three, they do as well. well Nor Noble strikes out swing, and that will retire the side. Spencer, Sato, Cortez, Broughton, and Kyle King. There's four, five, and six in the lineup to face left-hander Justice Sheffield. Here's the break even. Called strike three, a fastball, blistering fastball from Sheffield on the outside edge. And there's one away. Two balls, two strikes. Sheffield winds and delivers. Swing and a miss, strike three. He went down low and Broughton couldn't catch up. There are two away. Three strikeouts for Justice Sheffield. The 0-1, breaking ball, chopped at the plate. Sheffield field, so is the first, not in time. King able to beat it out, and King has the first hit of the game for either team. It belongs to Georgia here with two out in the top of the in the bottom of the second inning. Sheffield at 26 pitches after throwing just 10 in the first inning. Here's the break even, swing and a miss by Hunt. Strike three ends the frame. Chris Potts, Riley Darden, Brandon Johnson do up for Tennessee here in the top half of the third inning. Hitters eight, nine, and one. First pitch, and Potts will dink that on the right side. The pitcher Jackson will field, flip over to Broughton, and there's quickly one away. 3-1 to Darden is inside, ball four. Riley Darden draws a one-out walk. 
here in the top half of the third inning. Brandon Johnson squares the butt, takes it low and inside, gets away from Sato, and sliding in hard at second is Darden without a throw. One ball, one strike, one out, pitch to Johnson, chopped, left side of the infield, third baseman Smith field, shows the first, not in time, Darden will go to third, and runners at the corners with one out, Tennessee threatening here at the top of the third. The lefty will take the first pitch high and away, a ball, 1-0, and scooting down to second is Johnson without a throw. So runners at second and third with one out, Justice Sheffield at the plate, top half of the third inning, a scoreless ball game. Jackson will wind the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. He took a little off, and Sheffield was out in front, third, two away. No balls and a strike. Outfield shading grow opposite field. He will lift one in the air. Shallow right field. That's going to drop in for a hit. One run will score. They'll hold Johnson at third. An RBI single for Grayson Grow. And Tennessee leads Georgia one to nothing. So runners at the corners with two outs. And Scott Jones at the plate. Struck out swing in the first inning. And he will call time. And Jackson visibly not happy with the fact that he's not able to pitch at his pace. Yeah, and the previous game, this Virginia team worked so fast out on the mound, we were wondering if guys were going to step out and try to shake him up a bit. There's a solid hit in the left field for Scott Jones. Brandon Johnson comes in to score. RBI for Jones, and Tennessee leads 2 to nothing. And now Potter will get back in the right-handed batter's box. No balls, two strikes the count. Tennessee leading two to nothing here in the top half of the third looking for more. Pitch from Jackson. Swing and a miss as he went away and Potter could not get to it. That will retire the side. Jake Farrell will lead it off for Warner Robins, Georgia, the center fielder. One, two, swing and a miss by Farrell and there's one away. So no balls, two strikes to Hunter Phillips. Here's the pitch from Sheffield, swing and a miss. Two away. So the payoff pitch upcoming as Sheffield gets the sign from Gro. Now he will wind, brings the fastball, misses inside, ball four. Tennessee fans liked it, but Jones will head down to first with the two out walk, and that will bring up the pitcher, Blake Jackson. Sheffield is at 43 pitches. That's over halfway to 85. 0 2 grounded to short. Darty will throw across the diamond. The stretch from Jones in time. And that will retire the side. We talk about Warner Robins, Georgia, having won the 07 Little League World Series. As the 0 2 breaking ball called strike three. Darty thought it was high, but for the second time tonight, he strikes out as an observer, one away. Well, I'm sure down there their baseball team is going to be great all the way through till they leave high school. R.J. Moore chases a 1-2 offering that was out of the zone. He can't connect, and there are two away. An interesting statistic for you about Warner Robins American Little League here in just a moment. Here's a 3-1 from Jackson, low and away. Northcutt draws the walk, and the walk was what got... Jackson in trouble back in the third when he gave up a pair of runs. So it's a league that's on a 14-game winning streak at Mitch Stadium. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. And As Darden swings and misses at the 1-2, and that will retire the side. As Connor Smith celebrating a birthday today. Here's the 0-1. It will be grounded to second, fielded there by Johnson. He will throw over to Jones, and there's one away. I want to see people enjoy and listen to a good ball game. Break key, or, or excuse me, the payoff pitch is a swing and a miss from Sato, and there are two away as Jeremiah Stevens will pinch hit for Cortez Broughton. Not easy to come off the bench for Stevens and have to face what he's bringing out there, Sheffield bringing that fastball, as you mentioned, Peyton in the outside corner. Not easy to come off the bench and just try to get around on this. Stevens is swinging a miss, and that will retire the side. 
But Justin Jones taking over on the mound. His team trailing two to nothing. Tennessee has the top of the order coming up. Brandon Johnson, Justice Sheffield, and Grayson Grove. Pull down the line. They're surrounding the outfield fence. Peeking through the slots. The 0-1. Ground ball hits a second. Fielded by Dempsey. Throw over to Maddox. There's one away. Jones will wind. Here's the break even. It is inside. And it hit Sheffield. He will head down to first after being hit by the pitch. Jones dropped sidearm and came inside and grazed the, the front of the jersey. Now you've got a guy on first base that has plenty of speed and can make his way around the base paths. 1,300 viewers now. First pitch to Grayson Groves, a swing and a miss on the breaking ball. Sato can't find it, and Sheffield will cruise into second base. 2 nothing. Tennessee leading top of the fifth, looking for more. The 0-1 to Groves is chopped up the middle, fielded by the shortstop Jackson. He'll throw to first in time to get Grow and there are two away. Justin Jones, first pitch to Scott Jones. It's a breaking ball, grounded to short. Jackson Fields throws the first in time, and that will retire the side. For Tullahoma, Tennessee, in the top half of the fifth inning, no runs, no hits, no errors, and one runner left on. Middle of the fifth here at Legendary Mitch Stadium, it is Tullahoma, Tennessee, two. Warner Robins, Georgia, nothing. And you know, Dalton Carricker was here last week. His sister, Carson Carricker, remember that Warner Robins softball team, which made it to the Little League World Series in Portland, Oregon. And, and I asked him, I said, how many tough games did you have along the way? He said, we had probably five to six games that could have easily gone either way. Mm -hmm. Well, this is the Warner Robins team that has, to this point, had it pretty easy. This is one of those make-or-break games. The 0-2 swing and a miss by King. There's one away. One ball, two strikes. One out here in the bottom half of the fifth inning. Tennessee leading Georgia 2 to nothing. Pitch swing and a miss by Hunt, and there are two away. Trey Maddox will get his first plate appearance. Have three, to look at Virginia. 3-1 to Max is grounded short. Darty back pedals. Now will feel, throws across in time, and that will retire the side. Warner Robins, Georgia goes one, two, three in the fifth. Tullahoma, Tennessee sitting on what would be considered one of the bigger upsets at Mitch Stadium in a long time. Leading Warner Robins, Georgia, two to nothing. As we move to the top half of the sixth inning, Tennessee, the visiting team, will have one more chance to expand on that lead with hitters five, six, and seven due up. That would be Cole Potter. James Darty and R.J. Moore. Here's the break even the Potter called strike three, a fastball on the inside half, and there's one away. One ball, two strikes, one out, top of the sixth inning, Tennessee leading two nothing. Georgia pitcher Connor Smith brings a breaking ball, Doherty could not hold back, takes a half swing, comes up empty, and there are two away. Again, try to prevent anything from getting behind them and keeping runners at least at second. One, two, swing and a miss by Moore. And that will retire the side. Tullahoma, Tennessee goes one, two, three in the top half of the sixth inning. And they have been treated to a classic. Two nothing, Tullahoma, Tennessee, behind the left arm of young Justice Sheffield. Leading Warner Robins, Georgia, and hitters 9, 1, and 2 coming up for Georgia. It's last hope here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Winner to play Chantilly, Virginia on ESPN Friday at 8 p.m. for a berth to Williamsport in the Little League World Series. The first pitch to Dempsey is outside the ball, 1-0. We're going to have to make a pitching change here in a few more pitches. Payoff to Dempsey is up for the way of ball and the tying run will come to the plate. Sheffield will wind and deliver. Chopped to third. Fielded cleanly by Darden. He'll throw to second but it's not in time. The throw was high and Farrell is in safely. And now the winning run comes to the plate. The tying run at first. 
And the foundation runner at second. That is ruled an error on the third baseman, Darden, for the high throw to second. One of the things you go 0-2, you can't pitch around somebody because you only have 85 pitches. Chopper to second, it's off the glove of Johnson. He couldn't field it. He was having to go toward the bag. That was a very difficult play for Johnson, and he could not haul it in. He will be charged with an error, and the bases are loaded for Connor Smith. Two errors in the inning, now back-to-back -back for Tullahoma, Tennessee. Nobody out, bases loaded, Sheffield is at 81 pitches, and Connor Smith, the number three hitter in this Georgia lineup, at the plate. He's Here's the one, two, swing and a miss, strike three. Smith strikes out, first out of the inning, that's 85 pitches for Justice Sheffield. Tony Grove will call time and come out of that Tennessee dugout, I'll tell you what. 1,688 on hand, and if Justice Sheffield does not get a standing ovation from this crowd, I would be shocked because the young man certainly deserves one for the gym he has pitched here tonight. James Darty will come in to try to put out the fire. We'll see if he goes right after Shadow or if he's going to try to fool him with curveballs, but he hasn't been able to get that across during warm-ups. Spencer Sato is 0 for 2. He struck out looking in the second, struck out swing in the fourth. One from coming into second base as a left-handed fielder. Here's a 2-1 to Sato. Lifted in the air. Deep right center field. Potts is over his head. He lands on the ground. Farrell will score. Jones rounds third. He will score. And we are tied at 2. Georgia comes off the mat to tie the game. And the winning run is at third. And Potts out in center field made a tremendous effort to pull that in. But it was just out of his reach. Score that a two-run double for Spencer Sato. The game is tied at two. And the winning run is at third. And infield in. And they're going to intentionally walk Broughton. I don't blame them. Now, especially you have a bag open at first base. That run does not matter, so now you get a force out anywhere. One ball, one strike. Doherty takes his time, goes through the windup. Here's the pitch. It's chopped at the plate. The throw in, not in time. In the score is Jackson, and Warner Robbins, Georgia, scores three runs in the bottom of the sixth inning to defeat Tullahoma, Tennessee, three to two. And Georgia advances to the Southeast Regional Championship game. The dog pile going on for Georgia, just in foul territory down the third base line, and 